Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stanford with Texas Fish Tips this week for fishermen. Guys, over at old good old Fina Docks, there's still some sheep's head, there's some big black drum, there's some big bull reds, there's some slot reds mixed in there, all on live shrimp. Uh, they like these little rocks right here next to this wall early in the morning. Uh, late in the afternoon is not so much, but you get there early, especially incoming tide, and it's not too, too strong a current. There's some good fish right there, and don't matter if it's incoming or outgoing, there's still fish there. Another good place to hide out when it does get a little windy is over to Martin Midstream. These big old pilings right here, all the way down through these rocks. Uh, sometimes you can fish in there, sometimes you can't. It just depends on if those big boats are in there. Try not to get in their way, uh, but there is some good fish to be had. Big sheep's head and a couple of reds mixed in there. Get on out here at the end of the jetties, all the way down Klein's Landing right here has got some fish. Anywhere's down there's rocks down through here. Anywhere's. Uh, if the current's not too strong. Come on down to the end of them jetties, like that south jetty. You ain't got to get right up next to rocks. So that's where the fish are, but there's also people fishing off those jetties. So try not to interrupt them, and they'll try not to interrupt you. Uh, but if you can get out here and into that jetty where the current's not as strong, uh, and you catch more fish that way, about 20 to 25, 35 foot of water down through, there's your big sheep's head, there's bull reds, there's slot reds. We've caught pompano. There's some Spanish mackerel out there. Just about everything. And the water temperature is about 70 degrees again, so there's a lot of fish there. Get on that north jetty, same thing. Anywhere's down through these rocks, all the way from this point, all the way down through here. If you can't fish one spot, get on the other where it's not as bad. Same thing. Be courteous to people that's on the bank, but there is some good fish to be had all down through here. And you can get on the outside of that north jetty when it's too strong a south wind and do the same thing. All right, over in South Bay, that water was sucked out last weekend. There was a lot of good fishing right in here. We just catch them right down this old bowl area where that water meets that shallow water along those oysters. There's some really good reds fish in there. Also, if you can get a skinny water boat up in that little cut right there, uh, or if you can get your trolling motor to get in there, there was a lot of good fish to be had. They like that red fish. They like to the cut menhaden. They like to the cut mullet, and they like the live shrimp. Also, if you get right on down here on Brown Root Flats down through here, old Dutch John, right here's old pipeline comes in right here. Uh, there's some good fish to be had right down this edge. Uh, Menhaden and the pothole seems to work pretty good. Come on down to Brown Root, way down on the back end here, it's been holding some nice redfish right here by the little bird island right down through here. Uh, they like that cut in Menhaden. Come right on down Piper Channel. Any of these little cuts you can get off the edges if it's too windy for you. Uh, but it's a good place to catch fish. It's deep water next to shallow water, and there's some good reds. There'll be some small ones if you use shrimp. And this little S-curve right here is going to hold some nice uh, sheep's head and black drum mixed in there. If you get out here and a little deeper out here in these flats, you're going to catch more redfish. Uh, they like that shrimp. They like that cut menhaden. It just depends on what kind of mood they're in that day. Uh, back on down to Piper Channel, into these houses, uh, island moorings, Right in this area is pre predominantly where you're going to catch most of your fish. They like that live shrimp. There'll be sheep's head along those uh, pilings. There'll be some black drum mixed in there, and sometimes there's reds. And we broke off on some nice big trout in here as well, all on shrimp. Uh, but be courteous to people. Try not to hang up on their docks, but that's where the fish are is around those docks. Starting off good old Rincon Channel in this deep water next to Shallow. There's a lot of small reds. There's some good reds. There's some trout. All down these little canals, you can fish it out of a little boat. You can fish it off the bank, some of it. You can get your kayak, get out there, and you're good protected water. Uh, but it's really a good place. You can put in there at Margaritaville and go around here and get in it. There's a lot of good fish in this area. If you don't have a boat, get over here to this old pier right here. This new pier they've redone, it's been great. Uh, there's some big uglies out there. They've caught some whiting. They're catching some sand trout. Uh, I've heard a few bull reds and a few trout mixed in there. Night time. Uh, shrimp is the best way to go on that. If you're going down this bank, if it's a north wind or when it's a calm day, you can hit these piers right out down through here. There's piers all down through. There's broken piers, new piers. Try not to hang up on their docks, but that's where the fish are. They're next to the structures where they're at. Uh, sometimes they'll be wide open out there. Uh, you just use cut mullet or cut menhaden, throw in the edges of this. Look like the water is look like a surf down through here. Sometimes it's windy, but it'll hold redfish. Same with these rocks down through. It's holding some nice fish all down through here. You can put your bait in those potholes. Shrimp has been working. You can use a cut mullet or a cut menhaden if you... Watch them, Captain Doug Stanford.